So today we talked about bar graphs. We went over 15-3 and 15-4. 15-3 is about making bar graphs and 15-4 is about analyzing them. So I'm, I'm going to do one example from each. So we're going to make a bar graph out of this data. <clears throat> now most, most kids know, uh, fifth graders know how to make a bar graph, but we want to make sure that we uh, have all the right labels and we want to talk about scale as well and what that means. Now first thing I want to do is I want to give it a title. I'm just going to give it the same title as this data. Now this is a, a bunch of students were asked what um, their favorite sport to watch is. Twelve students uh, said they like football, four students said they like baseball, six students said they like soccer, and two students like something else. And I'm going to use the same title that they have here. So favorite sport to watch. Next thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to label the axes. I'm going to put the, um, you want to put on the x-axis down here, you want to put the labels. And you want to put the numbers on the y-axis when you're working with a bar graph. So I'm going to put uh, sport down here and then uh, votes here. <clears throat> now I'm going to put these labels. So I'm going to say football, uh, baseball, soccer, and I'm going to extend this line out a little bit so I have more room, and other. Okay, so now I need to put numbers on the side of here, and before I can do that, I need to pick a scale. Now that's kind of a new vocabulary word, but what it means is I need, I need to figure out, am I going to number this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Or can I just do by 2s, by 4s, by 5s? You need to look at your numbers and see what makes the most sense. Now, I notice that these are all even numbers. If I were going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, I wouldn't use any of these odd numbers. So it would be kind of cluttered and, and unnecessary. So I'm not going to use those odd numbers. I'm just going to use even numbers. Now, you don't want to go too much. You don't want your scale to be too big. For instance, if I did 5, 10, 15, that would work. But you'll notice that none of these will line up with any of these tick marks. And you'll have to estimate till a 12, maybe uh, it's about here for football. Baseball is 4, so it's a little bit less than 5. Soccer 6 is a little bit more than 5. Others like down here somewhere, I'm not sure. Uh, we don't want to do that either. We want to pick something that lines up pretty well, as well as we can make it. and. Uh, it's not too cluttered. Now, since it's all even numbers, we're going to, uh, if these are all even numbers, I'm just going to pick even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Now, I probably could have made that taller. That's okay. And now, so now, now I've done all of the uh, parts that uh, people often forget about. Now I can do my, finally um, add my bars. So football uh, had 12 votes. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a bar that goes up to 12. Baseball had four votes. So I'm going to have a, um, a bar that goes up to four. Notice these line up perfectly with these tick marks. I chose the scale so that it would do that. Uh, soccer has uh, six votes. So that's right, right here. And other has two votes. And there is my bar graph. It has to have all these things. The title, the uh, labels on the axes. It needs to have these uh, labels for each bar. Now, some, some people ask me in class if they could just put the letter FBSO. The problem with that is that this bar graph is now no longer very informative. If I don't know what those letters stand for, then this, this uh, bar graph is useless. I need to know what these are. So you need to have either spell them out or have a key written somewhere where I know what F stands for, B stands for, and all that stuff. And um, make sure you pick an appropriate scale that makes it easy for you to, um, to make, your, make your bar graph. Okay, so now we're going to analyze an existing bar graph. This is uh, 
uh, magazine subscription sales. Uh, Carla, Pat, and Aaron are selling magazines. Carla sold 10, Pat sold 35, Aaron sold 35, or 25. Um, <coughs> so students earn $3 for every magazine subscription they sell. How much more money does Aaron sell than Carla? So I'm going to use the UPSI method that we use in class. Um, this is a multi-step problem, and it's a pretty easy one, but a lot of people will get problems like this wrong because they're not reading the question. So I'm going to underline the question here. How much more money does Aaron earn than Carla? Um, I will say, and then I will restate that as a statement, as an answer statement. Aaron earns blank more dollars than Carla. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of go through the rest of the problem. I'm going to circle any important numbers. Well, there's some numbers here, so I'm just going to write the numbers uh, above these above these uh, bars to tell me how much they are. So this is between halfway between 30 and 40, so that's 35. It's halfway between 20 and 30, so that's 25. Okay, so I have those numbers and I have this number. So what, is, what does it all mean? Well, um, I know that it's three dollars per magazine and um, Carla uh, sells 10 magazines and Aaron sells uh, 25 magazines now I'm not going to write down how much Pat makes how many how many magazines Pat sells because um, as I know from my answer statement I don't care I just care about Aaron and Carla um, now, what a lot of kids will do at this point is uh, they'll they'll um, let's say, oh, uh, Aaron Aaron sells 25, Carla sells 10. I'll just subtract them. They get my answer 15, but that is wrong. We're not looking for the number of magazines. We're looking for the amount of money. Now, that's not because people don't understand how that works. It's because they're not reading the question. Okay, so now um, I need to figure out how much Carla makes and how much Aaron makes. So Carla makes $10, 10, has 10 magazines, sells them for $3 each, and that is $30. And then Aaron sells 25 magazines for $3 each, and that's $75. And so we know how much money each person makes. We want to know how much more Aaron makes. Uh, he makes 75, she makes 30. If I subtract these, I get $45. And so that is my answer. Forty-five. Aaron earns forty-five dollars uh, more than Carla.